now we just got to see what this thing will do to the tires here. Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a 1970 Chevelle. There's a 540 cubic inch big block under the hood. She's beautiful. Look at that cow hood, man, covering up. It's got a high rise intake on it with a big old carburetor sitting on top, guys. She is a beauty. Now the color on this thing is like a deep plum color, looking sweet. We got great looking white stripes. Those stripes are buried underneath the clear, looking beautiful. All the chrome work's looking good. All the bright work's looking amazing. We got hood pins in there to keep that hood down when you hit the big end of the uh, drag strip. And then of course, Kragers. I see some Willwood brakes peeking out between the Krager spokes there, looking good. Now, when you check out this emblem right here, they're taking just a little bit of poetic license there. They're calling it 544 but it is a 540 cubic inch motor. As you look inside, my favorite interior, black and bucket seats. They got the uh, automatic shifter there um, between those seats, looking sweet, aftermarket stuff. Got the aftermarket tack, the aftermarket gauges in there. All the upholstery's looking sweet. We got seat belts in the back and you better fasten those seat belts because this baby's making horsepower. We got great looking um, package tray there with some six by nines. The headliner's looking good. The dash itself, some beautiful shape. The carpeting looks good. You can see the painted jams also nice and clean. She is a beauty. And those craggers on the back just looking sweet. Chrome on the back bumper also looking sweet. Looks like it's brand new chrome. It's in great shape. Now I see just a little bit of maybe pearl in that white paint. Looking beautiful. It looks like a little bit of this color is coming through there. Looking sweet. And of course those are buried under the clear. I can just barely feel those stripes. In the trunk, nice and clean in here. Looks like we got a spare and jack. Make sure you always lift up the mat. Look underneath the mat. It's looking sweet under there also. Always check out the wheel wells. Check out the detail. Look at the gutter system around the trunk opening. You can see all the finishes here looking good. Looks like the paint's wearing just a little bit right there. You can see the paintwork on the bottom side of the deck lid. Also always check the lips on the deck lid. Look at the finish on those. You can see they use brand new bolts. They had all this apart when they did the paint work. As you look down the passenger side, straight as can be. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do consignment. That means we own this Chevelle. We did our homework before we laid out our money. And then the first thing we do to every car here at Vanguard is they go up on the lift and get inspected. Then we take our pictures, do our video, so we can show you exactly what your dream's gonna look like when we park it in your driveway. Now, if you wanna see about 100 pictures of this car and see a full description of the car, you can go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com and make sure you go to the bottom of the video there and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that little bell button so we can send you a notification every time we get a cool car just like this one in.
Let's take this badass 540 for a ride. Merlin Power under the hood, baby. This thing is amazing. One of my favorite Chevelles right here. Here we go. <laughs> that was about half throttle, guys. This thing is amazing. Man, this is great. Now, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship it anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Man, I'll tell you what, nothing is like some Merlin power. That big old 540 cubic inch motor, just amazing. Now, this thing has a manual valve body. Real easy to work with this shifter. Basically, you put it in first, pull it back in second, pull it back in third. You want to downshift, you just push it forward into second, push it forward into first. The only thing it has is it has that reverse lockout, so you can't get it in reverse unless you pop it into neutral, hit a little switch, and then you pop it on up into reverse. Real easy to operate, but very, very cool. Now, this thing is a beast. Listen to it, just sounding great. Now, Tom answers his phone seven days a week and 24 hours a day almost. So you can call him anytime you'd like. He'll tell you all about this car. Also, go to our website. You can see about 100 pictures of the car, underside, under the hood, the interior, everything you want to see about this 70 Chevelle with this big old Merlin power plant. It's got the turbo 400 hooked up to it. Probably one of the best transmissions on the planet. All the drag racing guys use those. This thing is sweet, guys. And it's a very unusual color. You don't have to worry about walking out to a uh, parking lot and wondering which car is yours. This is one sweet machine right here. As you can see down here on the dash, everything you need is here. We got the tack right here on the steering column. It's easy to see. We got the three pack of gauges underneath the dash so you know exactly what's going on. It's got an old Kenwood radio in it, just like my car's got, I think. Of course, I never turn that on because I like listening to that exhaust system. And I tell you what, this has got one amazing exhaust system on it. Just makes this motor sing popping into second gear just that easy, cruising around. She's got power steering, feeling good. She is a beauty. Now we're close to the airport. If you'd like to come in and check it out in person, we'd love to have you. We don't get to meet a lot of our customers because most people buy sight unseen on the net. So come on in if you can, we'd love to meet you. I just hit third gear there. So you can cruise it nice and gentle not make a lot of noise but of course I like to make a lot of noise now we're gonna put this baby up in the air for you right now so you can check out the bottom we're in our main facility here at 15100 Keel Street and we just got to see what this thing will do to the tires here so hold on for a minute here we go just a little tap <laughs> that was first and second stick with us all right, we're underneath this amazing Chevelle now. Now you can see the tank's got a sump in it. We got our fuel filter right here. We got our fuel pump right here also. The frame's been nicely coated. Trunk floor looks good. Drop downs look good. Um, we got Willwood uh, disc brakes on this car. We got a 12 bolt rear end here. We got a 391 gear in there and it is posy. You can see the lower control arms are aftermarket looking good. We got a big sway bar on it. Those rotors are drilled and slotted. We got some glass pack mufflers here. We got the bottoms of the floors have been all cleaned up and painted and they're looking beautiful. You can also see that the frame's been all painted up looking good up here. We got a drive shaft loop up here. Real nice job installing that. We got a turbo 400 trans, and for those of you who don't know, that is a three speed automatic. We got some gigantic tube headers here, which are looking sweet. You might just have to slip some mirrors underneath this car and show off the bottom side. We got big Willwood brakes up front with drilled and slotted rotors here also. Um, 
Looks like it's had new ball joints a while back. I can see that they're bolted in. They're not the riveted in ones. We do have a big sway bar up front here also. Cross members in good shape. I always look at that on every car until it hasn't been over a railroad track and got ripped out of there or anything. The front frame horns are nice and straight. Always look at the core support too. The core support is a little bit thinner metal. So that's something that you can look at to really gauge what the uh, condition of the car has been in. Chrome front bumpers looking good. We looks like we got brand new tires here, brand new Kragers. And up front here, the size is, there it is, 215 6515s. And look at that wheel well up there. Look how nice and clean that is. All painted up, looking good. One thing I always try to do is look at this lip on the front fender. Again, this would catch a bunch of junk, so you can see that it's nice and clean. Um, I can't really get my finger up in there to fill the backside, but you can really tell that it is in great shape. Always look at this pinch weld wherever two pieces of metal are put together and pinched and um, spot welded together. It's a good telltale sign of what the car, uh, the condition is. 275 60 15s out back. Again, brand new Craigers there. Wheel lip moldings look good. Wheel wells look nice and clean. And look at this. You can still see the uh, spot welds here from the factory. Isn't that sweet? You can see that the frame's all nice and coated here, looking good. Well, let's get under the hood and check out that big old motor. All right, under the hood here, we got the big boy here. You can see Merlin block, Merlin 3, and Merlin 3 heads too. Those babies are aluminum, and the intake is Merlin. They got that carburetor up in the air. We're going to draw some fuel down through that big old Dominator. I believe it's a 1050. It is a double pumper. It is dual feed. This is the fuel regulator, and it's got a gauge right here to check that uh, pressure. You can see it's got the MSD box mounted to the firewall. It's got the MSD coil and the MSD distributor there. Everything. Look at those gigantic headers. Looks like a big old bundle of snakes coming out there. I think a guy named Carol Shelby named them that. <laughs> Hey, we got aluminum water pump on here also. We got all aluminum bracketry and a serpentine belt set up here. That aluminum radiator is looking sweet. Uh, we have what's probably a trans cooler here. I'd have to track the lines down, but more than likely that is the trans cooler. We got big old electric fans on it. We do have the Willwood master cylinder on the car, and we do have power brakes on the car. You can see that the inner wheelhouses are nicely painted. The firewall is nice and clean and nicely painted. Bottom side of this big old cow hood's nicely painted. It looks like the springs are brand new. Now see, they went to the lighter duty springs. Whenever you put a fiberglass hood on a car, you need to put those lighter duty springs on there. It does look, it has the, uh, factory original um, hinges there. I mean, everything about this car is cool, guys. She's got big horsepower. She's got a big old Merlin motor under the hood. It's a bunch of cubic inches, so give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your driveway.